Hello and welcome to this film which is about um, temperature changes and their effect on equilibrium systems. Uh, once again it's one of the practical films so it doesn't deal too much with explaining why these things are happening it just shows you these things happening in a couple of experiments. So we're going to look at two different equilibrium systems here and see what happens to them as they get hotter and colder. Okay, So we're going to start with an equilibrium system that we've seen before and it is the nitrogen dioxide which is a brown gas turning into dinitrogen tetroxide which is a colorless gas. Um, we've got some information here about this reaction um, presented in a way that we've hopefully seen in, in, in the introductory films. This is the reverse process if you look at it the way it's written so N2O4 turning into 2NO2 so that's that reverse process and we're told that the enthalpy change for this process is 54.4 kilojoules per mole. In other words it's positive and this process is endothermic. So this backward reaction here is endothermic. It makes things get colder. Okay. There's some KC information here which is to do with an equilibrium constant which we won't worry about for now. Um, and here's the forward reaction, the brown gas, the brown NO2 turning into the colorless N2O4 and again we're told about the enthalpy change for that process and it should be no surprise to see that it's the same energy change, it's just changed sign. So here the enthalpy change is minus 54.4 kilojoules per mole so that tells us that this forward reaction must be exothermic. It gets hotter and that's should be giving us some idea about what this system is going to be trying to do as we make it get hotter or colder according to Le Chatelier's principle. So let's watch the film. The film doesn't necessarily um, allow you to visualize it all that clearly so apologies for that in advance but you can just about see the color changes so here once again introducing the system with brown on the left colorless on the right and it's going into icy water here so it's getting colder and should be able to just about see that the color in there is fading so it's getting less brown so it's going in the forward direction because we've made it colder so Le Chatelier's principle says it gets hotter okay again we're not going too much into the explanations here we're just going to try and see what happens and explain it later now we're going into hot water and we should be able to see that the reverse color change happens and in fact the system is getting darker. Okay, so to summarize there we've got the brown over here, the brown gas and we go here when it gets hot. Okay, here's the colorless side and we went to the colorless side when things got cold. Okay, should be able to gradually start thinking about why is that happening, bearing in mind that the backward reaction is endothermic and the forward reaction is exothermic. Okay, just remind you the explanations in depth for this will come later. Okay, but I'm just touching on these things here because maybe we're starting to become familiar with these things by now. Okay, uh, the next system we're going to look at is one that we've looked at before in a different practical. Okay, It involves the hexa-aqua cobalt-2 ion, uh, co complex ion, um, reacting with chloride ions and turning into tetrachlorocobalt-2 um, and water. So in other words, um, this system can go, well not in other words, but this system can go forwards or back and we might be able to remember that this side here is pink and this side here is blue. Unfortunately the way it's shown in this picture to start with is the other way around but you can see hopefully that I've put the hydrochloric acid bottle on the blue side and the water bottle on the pink side to show that when there's lots of um, water in the complex ion we're pink and when we're lots of chloride ions in the complex ion we're blue. Okay so here we go let's watch what happens Okay, now we're going to take this pink solution, which remember is this one here. Okay, so this is the pink ion. Okay, and we're heating it up. We're seeing what happens to it. Okay, potentially, I suppose, or we'll be able to see if something's happening if there's a color change because this one is blue, if you remember. 
and notice what's happening here or straight away as the temperature is increasing the solution is gradually going from pink to blue okay so as we increase the temperature of this system it's going from pink to blue and that might make you think well is this change endothermic or exothermic we won't go into that for now okay sticking it in icy water and you can see it's going back to pink so this is most definitely the color that we're getting in the cold and this is the color that we're seeing when things are hot okay so once again we're seeing that the position of equilibrium or whether we've got more reactants or more products is most definitely affected by the temperature okay the next film is called temperature changes and the principles of them and that would be a good place to go next um, because it explains some of these changes that we've seen in this film hopefully if you've got the will or the desire you can come back to this film and you can try and explain these changes yourself bearing in mind the principles that you'll learn in subsequent films but that is definitely the place to go next the film about temperature principles